Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a setup today for a baby shower. The theme was precious cargo, or like the special special delivery kind of theme thing. Um, the colors were all custom. I will list them in the description box. And I'll be working on these three backdrops that I have. Um, so I'm doing the H method, as you see right here. I did the H method with the scotch tape. You can also use duct tape or i use gear tape as well a lot and i use those on the floor mainly so i don't damage the paint on the backdrops right here i started with a cluster of eight balloons with for the red with the 16 in it and then um the navy on the side is a cluster of six and then it was also a cluster of six a red on top of the other one and then i'm adding a cluster of i want to say eight balloons that was with the fog and i tied that cluster directly to the cluster of red um, balloons so i've been jumping back and forth with clusters of six and eight balloons i really like the cluster of eight balloons again i haven't used it i wasn't using it for a while but i really like it because it doesn't keep the balloons as structured as the cluster of six do it kind of keeps them in a straight way whereas the um, cluster of eight balloons is a little bit more chunky and it gives it an organic look already but i did add a cluster of six balloons next to that navy and here you go i'm here you see i'm using my gaff tape in a 260 then you can do the h method with her uh, to secure it around as well but i find that i can just use like a nice piece of gaff tape and put that on the floor by yourself it's not going to be there forever so I, I feel like i don't have to do a full h method on the floor but you can if you want to just to make sure it don't lift up i did have one that lift up before and i had to redo it but um it, do it doesn't happen a lot so i'm building another h method so i can secure the um that light gray balloon at the top so it doesn't move so I'm trying to tape that on. <laughs> I really love the H method. It is time consuming trying to tape all that when you're in the middle of building. But it's definitely worth it. And, you know, you make sure. I always want to make sure when I leave a site that I know my garland is not going to move. It's not going to fall down. If someone happened to, you know, run into it or, it's, you know, in some way, somehow hit it. That it's not going to move or shift. And you can still see the shape that I created. Um before i left you know so i do like securing my garlands in you know many different sp spaces um many different areas now as well as the floor now I didn't used to do the floor but i love doing the floor now uh, because sometimes those balloons can lift up and you want them to sit right on the floor so and this was a quad of four balloons that i just used um, sometimes you don't always need a cluster. Sometimes you just may need a quad. Sometimes you may just need a duper balloons. And I'm putting another piece of tape on the floor so that um, navy that's on the left side um, does not move. And you see that quad, I had it poking out and I pushed it back. Sometimes it's all about the placement of the balloon, not that it's not needed. So that balloon was a little bit sticking out before I pushed it back, that quad that I added on the left side. And usually I wait until I finish all my garlands before I add five inches on. But today on this, which I'm I'm going to see how I can avoid this in the future with my business. I came up probably about, you know, like two hours. I want to say about two hours, two hours and a half before the event started. And the bed drops did not come, I want to say, ten minutes before the event started. So I felt terrible. The... um I was working with an event planner with this setup and the um the person who's like pregnant whatever <laughs> I don't know what the name her but she came while I was still setting up and you know usually they come a little late but she was like on time and I just felt you know terrible that I was still setting up I don't know how to go about this moving forward like I hate you know setting up after an event started and it looks bad on me even though because people don't see like i was there way before anybody was there before they even opened up people don't see that they just see me working after the event has already started so um you know in the future i don't you know something you know you got to discuss you know maybe with the vendor you know <clears throat> about you know different things moving forward if you're going to work with that vendor again um that's something i would definitely have to you know think about in the future and how to move forward from that 
But um, I would definitely, you know, it didn't, I didn't feel comfortable with it. I don't like people, you know, seeing me still set up when a party has already started. Um, nor am I a late person. I like to be on time, if not extra early for everything I have to do. So um, it definitely put me in a uncomfortable situation. But, you know, it comes with the business. And those are just things you have to, like, set boundaries with. I understand that things happen. Um, but when things become a pattern, you definitely want to address them. Make sure you speak with whatever vendor um, you have to to make sure, you know, you can try to avoid it next time. So, I'm sorry, guys. I got a little bit of the footage late because I had built a reel as well. But here you go. I'm building on the right side because it was three panels all together. So, I'm building over here now. And I'm just doing um, something simple. Sometimes I build and I try to do something like totally different and creative. Um, and sometimes when I'm, I don't have a lot of time, I'm building just you know something i did before maybe another shape that i did before in a style something i know is going to be pretty and can get me out of there as quick as possible because maybe i did that particular style before so right here um i'm just doing a garland on both sides i did one smaller this one was a little bit taller but I'm doing something that I know can get me out of there as soon as possible. As you see in the background with a chair, that's actually the, uh, you know, the mom to be. So I felt terrible back here still setting up. And I, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so I felt terrible. I'm just trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. I'm trying to add these five inches on as I'm going. And I don't want to have to go back and do anything. Um, similar to what I did on the left side. Soon I finished building it. I added my five inches so I didn't have to go back to it. So I just wanted to get everything done as quickly as possible. And that's why I'm just adding this on. I am going to add some more clusters to the bottom just to fill it out a little bit more. And then add those five inches on as well. And the colors were super pretty. Um, I was really excited about this setup. I didn't know exactly, I guess, the backdrops we were going to be using. We was planning to use something else, but I guess it fell through. So this was like these backdrops was kind of last minute. Um, and it was, you know, they're really light blue. Not light, but complete, compared to the navy, it was lighter than that. So... It didn't totally mess up the design, but it, you know, it went with it. It was okay. But I was expecting the bait drop to kind of match the colors of the balloons a bit more. And here I'm just adding on those five inches. I had extra five inches that I inflated, so I just added some more um, in places that really didn't need it. But I just, I didn't want to take it home. So I'm like, just add some more on the garland. Um, you can never go wrong with this adding a lot more five inches. And if you want to know the size of these five inches, I use, well, I use my Legenda right now, but they come up, they about three and a half inches, three and a half. Yeah. And this is the final setup. You guys, this is how everything turned out. We end up adding that plane and the little suitcases in the front of the garland over here. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.